Hi, I have this document here. We're talking today about table of contents. So in a previous episode, we talked how to insert it and we talk about how to change some basic things in our table of content. And today we want to talk more about what to include in a, in a table of content. This document is based on headings. So each from this one, uh, one of these three, heading one, heading two, or heading three, uh, depending on the um, wh which one is the main uh, chapter here. Okay, so you can see here the size is different. So based on this, based on this, we will insert a table of content. Very easy. This will be the default. And today we are talking about or three options that we have. So let's edit this table of content. Uh, today we're talking about these three. In the last episode, we talk about these options from top here. And today we concentrate about these three options down there. Okay, let's uncheck everything and let's see first one, outline. Outline means that we are based on these headings here, okay, based on this hierarchy. So outline level, okay, this is level one, uh, this is heading two, it's level two and so on. So you can see on the left introduction is heading one, it's on the left heading two about author, it's level two, it's inside a little bit. So Let's see, let's edit this one. Let's talk about additional styles. So here we have different styles and let's see the default. We have figure index if we want to have in our document. So let's change everything to the default to zero. So this is how we have by default zero. So if I have that none, it's um, is selected. Now we want figure index to be one, to be level one. The same like introduction. So let's update the index. I don't have an, an index here, let's insert. So this is a index of photo. Let's select the text. And let's choose this one. So let's select the text and let's choose figure index. Bibliography is bibliography. Okay. So now let's go to table of content. Let's update. We have now the index of photo because here we said figure index to be level one. Let's move to level two. Okay. You can see it's aligned with this level two. Let's change back to level one. And now I want bibliography to be the same level one. Okay, you can see it's level one and it's there. I can find at what page is this bibliography or index of photo and so on. Okay. Let's see what is index marks. Uh, if I'm inserting here, insert um, table of content, index entry, table of contents here, let's write something, okay? And I choose uh, level one from here, insert, and close. You can see I have something here. This is something. If I go to table of content and I update, and I check these index marks, and I press OK, I have something because I, I include every index in my document. Okay. So this way you can include things that you want to specify in your document. If, if I uncheck that, I don't have anything that was based of heading one, heading two, and so on. Okay, so everything is based on level. I don't have because I uncheck that. 
what can I do? I can assign from here. Heading 1 to be level 1, heading 2 to be level 2, and heading 3 to be level 3. Okay. And I have back the same thing I have before. So I can be okay without outline, but I don't have 10 levels. I have here just level 1, 2, and 3. So if I want more than 3 levels, I need to use outline because I can have up to 10 levels. If I uncheck this, I will not have the index. Okay, and if I uncheck everything I have here, I uh, change to none, to zero, everything to be zero. Okay, bibliography, heading and heading and everything. I will have nothing. 